Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, I let you know that if you're using Power Toys, that Microsoft rolled out Power Toys version 0.94, which is now the latest release. And this was quite an important and a big update because it did have a whole lot of new features. I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. Now, my reason for mentioning this release is because as part of this release, over in the dev blogs, where Microsoft was highlighting some of these features for version 94, Microsoft has mentioned that with Power Toys version 0.95, which is going to be the next release, it's going to include automatic theme switching. Now, although Microsoft is going to be improving Windows 11's dark mode, because there is still quite a little bit of inconsistency, as you may well know, where legacy components are not matching the dark theme. So I have dark theme set currently and you can still see things are not looking great. So although Microsoft though is going to be improving Windows 11's dark mode by applying dark mode to some more components and I have posted on this uh, previously where in the Insider program some hidden features were spotted regarding the file copy window, file deletion prompt and file permissions pop-up which were carrying a dark mode which currently don't on Windows 11 and also on Windows 10. I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more info. So although Microsoft is going to be working on making the dark mode more consistent, Windows 11 can still not switch themes automatically, which is actually a requested feature on the Feedback Hub, where if you want to enable dark mode, as an example, on sunset, you could do so, and disable it on sunrise, you could do so, have a preset setting. But at this stage with Windows 11, you have to use third-party apps to get the job done. Now, that's where the next release of Power Toys comes in, as mentioned, because if we head over to the dev blog, regarding the features that rolled out for the latest release of Power Toys, and we scroll down to the bottom, Microsoft is giving us a look at what's to come. Over and above a revamped keyboard manager UI, Microsoft is saying here that in version 0.95, there will be a new utility that can automatically switch between light and dark mode based on your schedule. Stay tuned, which I think is a very nice move in the right direction. Now, although this is the case and will be something to look out for, it's still strange that Microsoft doesn't make theme switching a default feature in the Windows 11 operating system itself, considering it, it is actually a highly requested feature. So very strange they don't just do that, but at least it will be arriving in the next version of Power Toys. And there have been some Power Toys features that have trickled into Windows 11. So hopefully then in the future, that will become a default feature in Windows 11 or a Windows 12 or whatever the case may be. But as I say with Microsoft, only time will tell, but at least that is starting to move in the right direction with automatic theme switching coming in Power Toys version 095. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.